Some of the worst of the fighting is in eastern Ukraine, where Russian forces have unleashed a relentless barrage of artillery for months, part of Moscow's push to capture the entire Donbass region. But despite the constant fighting, the front lines have barely moved in weeks. And for residents living nearby, the threat of death is never far away. CNN's Nick Robertson has more. In Siversk, civilians are buried where they fall. No time, no safety for a cemetery send-off. No bomb too big, no building in this eastern Ukrainian town seemingly off Russia's target list in their slow but relentless push westwards. This town is on the fringes of what the Ukrainian government controls. They're surrounded on two sides by Russian forces to the east and to the north, about five miles, eight or ten kilometers away. Shelling here, an ever-present danger. Among the ruins, people are surviving. 2,000 of a pre-war 11,000 clinging on. Valeria barely seems to notice another shell exploding. How hard is it to live here now? I don't realize it, but she's about to teach me how hard. She's not kidding. She comes back with a saw and a floorboard scavenged from a blown building. Every day. Every day. So every, day. every day, so like this. OK, so this is hard. Well, why do you... Yeah, good muscles. Why do you stay here? If it's so hard, why do you stay? Valeria's lesson for me. Yes, life here is very hard, but this is home, and leaving would be harder. It's uh, home. My house. Yeah. My house. But it's, but it's so dangerous. There, there's bombs and explosions and... Someone has to stay, she says. We go in the basement when there's shelling. Go. Go. Yeah, OK, I'm coming. She leads us to the basement. So you're sleeping in here, you're living down here. We've been sleeping down here for more than three months, she says. Down here, her cheerful sparkle is gone. We have no gas, electricity, water or communication, she says. I have nowhere to go. There's more she wants to show us. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Smashed. <laughs> Valeria's neighbours, like her, cooking outside. Hello. She's brought me to what's left of her friend's house. It's all destroyed. The people who were here, did they survive? God saved them, she says, but now they've left. By local standards, the shelling this day less than usual. This elderly lady venturing out for food. She tells us the food handout she needs hasn't arrived. The shelling getting closer. We go. Not so lucky, those we leave behind. Nick Robertson, CNN, Siversk, Ukraine.